Yo, what's good? It's the boy do the views and heavy spoilers for My Hero Academia Season 7 Episode 15. You have been warned. This episode adapts Chapter 372, 373, 374, and 375. A whopping four chapters. I don't really have a whole lot to say regarding this episode, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This episode did feel more like a setup episode for next week. But regardless, let's talk about the good and the bad. The good, I love the scene of the doctor all holding hands to try and stand up to the heteromorphs who were going to attack the hospital and the person in the middle of that lineup was a fellow heteromorph and it made the entire group be like what are we doing why are we doing this and i like that i love how shoji is the one to tell the guys that their anger and hatred isn't wrong and they have every right to feel the way they do but if they keep this up they're going to regress society 30 years back that's no good shoji throughout the series has been seen as this side character who hasn't had a lot to say but finally he has time in the spotlight and the way he inspired the entire group of heteromorphs to stop the carnage and to look towards the future and peace Shoji, what a man you are. I feel like this scene of present to Mike and Spinner confronting Kairoguri and Spinner shouting out Karaguri's name only to be interrupted by present Mike shouting out Shirakumo was better presented in anime form than manga. In my opinion, the manga panel is a little bit chaotic. However, I can't lie, this one still panel does have more aura, energy, and impact than the anime version. Look at the streak lines, they go crazy in the manga. He came to this conclusion that despite everything he still wants to follow Shigaraki because he was his first friend he bonded over him with video games and he wants to save him Spinner admits that he got carried away and got pulled into the hype of wanting to flip society upside down but I think at the end of the day Spinner just wanted a friend and Shigaraki was the friend that Spinner needed it just got me wondering seeing Spinner how many other people got radicalized by villains such as Hero Killer Stain to rise up and to overthrow the heroes how many people just needed a friend and needed someone to be there for them that lady weather reporter that's it enough said when toga gets pulled in by kurigiri's quirk to go towards all for one ochako is like hey let's talk about romance and i do feel like she wanted to try and get to know toga more and try to get through to her and possibly try and make her see the errors of her ways as i think ochako is starting to realize that if toga had a different quirk or or if her childhood went a different way maybe she wouldn't be who she is right now and maybe Ochako does see a little bit of herself in Toga and she wants to help her just like how Deku wants to help Shigaraki. I do like how the main female protagonist of this series isn't so fixated on the main male protagonist and wants to help other people just as much as the main protagonist did. Things I didn't like about this episode the whole present Mike erase ahead and Kuragiri flashback stuff was just overdone. I mean my gosh it's like the fifth sixth time they've showed that flashback and i'm a little bit over that entire storyline with the friend this episode also does like to show a lot of flashbacks and it gets a bit overdone but honestly apart from that i really enjoyed the episode there were a lot of really good moments that looked really well adapted from the manga as after the episode i did read some of the manga panels and it looks pretty good while some scenes do look better in the anime version than in the manga panels i must admit that there are quite a few scenes particularly with Dabby that do look a lot better in manga version. I feel like the anime censored some of Dabby's scenes. He doesn't look as gritty or as intimidating in the anime version. I feel like a lot of his flame animation is blurring out some of that detail. It's good but I do like the grit in the manga. But next week my gosh seeing Dabby, Toga all with all for one they're going to confront Endeavor and Hawks. Hopefully Deku will come into action and hopefully take him out i'm not too sure about shigaraki's state of mind we just gotta wait and see but overall this episode was a setup episode i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 and i'll give it a b minus hopefully next week's episode will be really good tell me in the comments down below what did you guys think of this episode did you like it or did you hate it tell me like for more my hero academia season 7 reviews thank you for watching a boy do the view signing out